Kill the king and save the kingdom. Take the ring and take your freedom. The claim, the crown and claim the throne. He wasn't anything. We didn't make him. He didn't have anything. We didn't give him so. Why were we so helpless? See the pain that we endured. The injustices that were born. The bullets we couldn't dodge, the courage we couldn't forge, the lives lost and gone, the victims not allowed to mourn, tears hidden behind fear, the pain we couldn't share. For one man was the gun, the bullet and the trigger, the judge, the jury and the executioner, but he wasn't anything. We didn't make him, he didn't have anything, we didn't give him, so I ask again, why were we so helpless? See, I will tell you why. It is because the voices that we are supposed to hold him accountable became the voices that sung his press songs, refused to speak against his wrongs for far too long. So instead of loving him, we feared him. Instead of following him, we obeyed him. Like slaves, we bowed down to him, begged when we should demand, lived and died by his commands. Like classless soldiers, we obeyed and never complained for reasons only greed and ignorance could explain. So we, we created our own dictator. We empowered our own oppressor. We rigged our own systems, dug our own graves, composed our own funeral songs, became strangers where we belong, refugees in our own homes, killed with our own guns by a monster we created on our own, a president. We voted with our votes, but he wasn't anything. We didn't make him, he didn't have anything. We didn't give him, we were powerless because we chose to be. But today, Today we turn on a new page, a page where the voices of the victims will take on the center stage and cage the fear that haunted us for 22 years, crown the truth to reconcile and repair the wrongs we suffered, heal the wounds from the past, the pain we can't forget and paint a new chapter of impartial justice where impunity is locked in the dungeons of retribution and injustice is hung to death by the flag of damnation, for together we are stronger. But understanding who we are and the power we wield will make us unbreakable. Ignorance is a crime and we have paid the price. Enough, never again will we watch while the evil rise. They can't be anything. We don't make them. They can't have anything. We don't give them so we will make just and honest men out of our leaders. They will be humble, transparent. They will be accountable. To us, we will alter their DNA if we have to, but they will learn to love and care for their countrymen. They will feel and understand the pain of the ordinary citizen and they will learn to serve selflessly and they will do so with integrity. Piece by piece, we will piece together every section of this nation. Do you hear me? So we will forgive, but we will not forget. We will never be victims again. We will never be silenced again, we will never be used or abused again. One man will never wield so much power ever again. For if the nation is the people and the people are the nation and we are the people, then like democracy dictates, the power to rule must be ours to give. This is our generation. We will lead it, it is our nation. We will run it, it is our future. We will have it, it is our right. And we will take it, so kill the king and save the kingdom.